scientists recently made a surprising discovery about the enigmatic Neptune. This distant planet, often overlooked in favor of its more well-known counterparts, has been quietly undergoing dramatic changes in its atmosphere over the past two decades, causing concern among scientists. In this script, we'll delve into the mysteries of Neptune and explore the potential impact of these changes on our daily lives. First, let's consider the peculiar history of Neptune. This planet, known as the Keeper of the Deep, is the last major planet in our solar system, residing a vast 4.5 billion kilometers from the Sun. Despite its considerable size, for times that of Earth, Neptune appears rather small and dim, even to powerful telescopes. Its obscurity in the planetary lineup has made it a subject of lesser focus compared to its celestial neighbors. Neptune's recent presence in the headlines is unusual. It was prompted by a study aimed at unraveling the secret behind Neptune's striking blue appearance, a phenomenon attributed to the methane in its atmosphere. This methane absorbs red light, leaving behind blue and green hues, making Neptune the bluest planet in our solar system. The study's lead author, Patrick Irwin, a planetary physicist at Oxford University, disclosed that their initial goal was to investigate the atmospheres of Neptune and Uranus. Unexpectedly, their findings shed light on the thickness of the methane haze, revealing that Uranus's haze layer is twice as dense as Neptune's, affecting their distinct blue shades. These two planets, often referred to as ice giants, share several characteristics. They are similar in size, larger than Earth but smaller than Jupiter and Saturn. Both lack solid surfaces and possess atmospheres predominantly composed of hydrogen, helium, and a trace of methane. Under immense pressure deep within these icy giants, carbon atoms may even form diamonds. The debate over whether Pluto qualifies as a full-fledged planet, after losing its planetary status in 2006, continues. In the midst of this controversy, planetary scientists also seek evidence of an imaginary planet, Planet 9, orbiting beyond Neptune. This hypothetical planet could explain the unusual orbits of some distant celestial bodies. Looking ahead, NASA's priorities may involve sending a spacecraft to Uranus in the coming years. If realized, this mission would leave Neptune as the only planet in our solar system yet to be visited on a dedicated mission. Neptune's discovery, back in 1846, was a result of astronomers noticing the perturbations in Uranus's orbit, caused by an unknown celestial body's gravity. Voyager 2, in 1989, was the last spacecraft to provide us with a close-up view of Neptune, its vibrant blue hue, moons, and even its less remarkable rings. Since then, no spacecraft has ventured to Neptune, mainly due to the logistical challenges of exploring planets with incredibly long orbits, 84 years for Uranus and a staggering 165 years for Neptune. Nevertheless, Neptune remains a captivating subject in its own right, deserving of focused attention due to its unique history and peculiarities. Recent observations from the Hubble Space Telescope unveiled an intriguing phenomenon on Neptune, a massive dark storm in its northern hemisphere made an unexpected U-turn while possibly giving birth to a young dark storm in the process. As we delve into Neptune's mysteries, it's essential to remember that the term ice giant is used to describe Neptune, even though it's essentially a massive ball of hydrogen and helium with significant amounts of methane, ammonia, and other molecules. This unusual classification is rooted in historical terminology. Neptune's vast distance from the Sun, approximately four times Earth's diameter, never ceases to amaze scientists and stirs our curiosity. While Neptune has perplexed us with its ever-changing features, it continues to be a source of fascination and intrigue, inviting us to explore the depths of its mysteries, hidden beneath the turbulent atmosphere of the blue jewel of our solar system. Storms on Neptune, unlike the long-lasting ones on Jupiter, are quite short-lived. For instance, a small dark patch in Neptune's southern hemisphere was first spotted during the 1994 Hubble observations. This patch must have formed between the Voyager flyby and the Hubble photos. Since then, Hubble has identified several more black spots. These spots typically develop at mid-latitudes in both hemispheres and tend to move toward the equator, but that's where they meet their demise. The Coriolis effect, which refers to the varying rotational speed of a planet at different latitudes, plays a crucial role here. As these Neptunian storms move closer to the equator, the Coriolis effect weakens and causes them to break apart. Most of these storms meet their end in this way. However, in September 2018, Hubble observed a baffling storm in Neptune's northern hemisphere. This massive storm, over 7,000 kilometers wide, 
large enough to fit the entire continental United States, initially traveled south. Yet, by January 2020, it had reversed its course and was heading north once more. This unique storm has intrigued scientists for several reasons. Firstly, it appeared to give rise to a smaller dark storm when it changed its direction. Computer simulations of Neptune's atmosphere suggest that as a large storm dissipates towards the equator, it can spawn smaller vortices. Though it wasn't directly observed due to the time gap between observations, this theory could explain the storm's behavior. Unusually, this storm lacks the bright white clouds typically found on the edges of dark storms. These clouds, composed of methane ice crystals, are highly reflective and appear white in images. On Earth, orographic clouds form when moist air rises over a mountain, cools, and condenses to create clouds. In 2019, images showed these white clouds on Neptune, but they vanished at the start of the year. The mystery of this storm's behavior might be connected to this disappearance, but it remains uncertain. Neptune, due to its immense distance from Earth, poses challenges for observation and comprehension. Its rapid atmospheric changes make it difficult to decipher the mysteries hidden within. Moreover, Neptune boasts Triton, a planet-sized moon with a smooth icy surface that was captured from a nearby region millions of years ago. Triton is one of the most intriguing moons in our solar system. Recently, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, provided remarkable images of Neptune, its moons, and rings. Inside Neptune, a mixture of chemicals, including methane, ammonia, and water, creates a unique appearance. Methane's excellent ability to absorb red light gives Neptune its captivating blue hue, but high-altitude methane ice clouds reflect light, appearing bright. Similar to Jupiter, Neptune hosts a variety of storms at different latitudes above its deeper cloud deck. It also possesses several rings, like the other giant planets. These rings consist of ice particles coated with various molecules, giving them a reddish appearance, which is more visible in infrared wavelengths. Neptune orbits over a dozen minor moons, with Proteus being the largest at a little over 400 kilometers in diameter. Most of these moons are small and irregularly shaped, measuring less than 200 kilometers in width. Some of them are superimposed on the rings and are known as shepherd moons. It's believed that the gravity of Despina and Galatea may help condense adjacent ring particles into narrow bands. And what about that striking teal star? That's Triton, Neptune's largest moon, measuring 2,700 kilometers wide. Triton is slightly wider than our moon and even larger than Pluto. It's a fascinating world with its own set of mysteries, making Neptune a celestial marvel worth exploring. In the depths of space, a unique telescope known as the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, provides us with an extraordinary perspective of distant celestial objects. When we observe it closely, we can discern fascinating phenomena. The distinctive hexagonal structure of the JWST is prominent in the image, as are the diffraction spikes. These spikes are the result of light bending around the telescope's three supporting legs, which hold the secondary mirror in place. The spikes also arise due to the hexagonal shape of the individual. Mirrors that compose the JWST. The reason for its brightness is the frozen nitrogen coating, giving it a highly reflective quality. In contrast, when we observe larger sources like Neptune, the diffraction spikes are less pronounced and appear faint. This is because they become smeared out, making them challenging to detect. Only when the light source is exceptionally small in an image, described as a point source by astronomers, can these diffraction spikes become distinctly visible. One celestial body that stands out is Triton, Neptune's peculiar moon. It has an unusual characteristic, its orbital motion is retrograde, meaning it orbits in the opposite direction to the planet's rotation. This peculiarity has led scientists to speculate that Triton might have originated from the Kuiper belt and was captured by Neptune's gravity. The exact method of how this occurred remains a mystery. In this close-up view of Neptune, you can clearly see its clouds and rings, including some of the fainter rings. What's particularly fascinating is the extremely thin, faint line encircling the planet, but only around its equator. This phenomenon is likely due to the unique circulation in Neptune's atmosphere. Unlike our Earth, where warm air rises at the equator, Neptune's atmosphere sees gases moving from the poles toward the equator, where they sink and heat up. This weak arc might be the result of warmer gas emitting infrared light. As you gaze at Neptune and Triton in this awe-inspiring wide-angle view, Everything else in the picture is a background galaxy, possibly hundreds of millions or even billions of light-years away. 
This serves as a poignant reminder that Neptune is the solar system's ultimate major outpost. Exploring these distant planets requires a well-thought-out mission. Sending a probe designed specifically for prolonged exploration is the key to unlocking their mysteries. Such a mission enables scientists to observe changes, shifts in conditions, and new phenomena, all while providing the flexibility to investigate interesting occurrences in greater detail. While our understanding of these celestial bodies is crucial, a dedicated mission allows us to focus on a particular objective and potentially trace its origin. Voyager's flybys of Neptune, for instance, unveil dark storms. To truly comprehend these phenomena, we must visit them repeatedly. While humans may not visit Neptune, a spacecraft crafted exclusively for its exploration could be on the horizon. The James Webb Space Telescope, the latest space observatory, currently observes the ice giant, Neptune, and promises to unveil previously undiscovered details about its atmosphere. However, there's no substitute for being in orbit around a planet. Unfortunately, our knowledge of Neptune is limited, and due to complex mission planning and the immense distance, we may never have a spacecraft in its orbit. A recent mission proposal for a Neptune orbiter aimed for an initial launch in 2033 and arrival in 2049. However, this timeline would be significantly extended if we opt for a detour to Uranus first, possibly pushing the Neptune mission into the 2050s. While we may never physically reach Neptune, the pursuit of knowledge about this enigmatic planet continues, and our understanding of the vast universe expands with each new observation. So, as we conclude another episode of Voyager, remember to keep exploring the mysteries of space, one discovery at a time.